In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a borderline, which is halfway from a dotted line, jumping into a solid line, and then eventually goes back into a dotted line. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link here, once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. If you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel for your questions. So all these links, by the way, are in the description box. So let's start to look at creating these dash lines first. So to do this, we're going to say here comma, and then what we want to do here is we're going to say in the border, and within the border we can indicate the dash, and specifically here, six solid pixels and then six pixels of white space let's save this refresh and as you can see here now and that's the only that's probably the most confusing part because the border here it will trigger all the grid items however if you can look here this is on the y scale the border here this one here is not being triggered because this is on the y scale we need to have one also for the x scale so let's do that one on the x scale we say the border as well, making everything connected, uh, dotted or dashed. So make sure you have a comma here, save, refresh, there we are. So now this works. So in this case, I would like to remove the border because that border, as you can see here, is still somehow at the back. We have a dashed line and then we have a border. And you can see it really clear if I say here for the border, a color, and make this red, this is on the X scale, Refresh, you can see here now we have this solid red item. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here, let's say display false. I'm going to remove it completely. Save, refresh, and now as you can see here, if you can see really carefully, you can see here this is truly white space, while here the border is not dotted. I'm going to remove it as well because I want to have a solid border from one segment to another. So in this case, let's say I want to select everything from Thursday all the way to Saturday end and have this specific area a nice solid border. To do this, I need to create a plugin to draw this specific line. So what I'm going to say here, comma, I'm going to say plugins, and then I'm going to put in here the following, let's say solid border x, copy this, then we're going to create our plugin constant. And then we say here, this will be ID equals this. And then we're going to say here, before we draw the data sets, before we draw data sets, we're going to draw this item. So it's a chart, arcs, and plugin options. So once we did this, I'm going to say here constant. And then we're going to say here equals chart. And then we're going to say here CTX. And then we have here as well, what do we want to have here is the scales. And in this case, we just need the X scale. And that should be more than sufficient because we're going to draw here a line. To draw a line, the first thing I'm going to say here is ctx.save to save all variables in RAW. Now we can start to draw the shape or the line. So for this, we're going to say here, begin path. Why begin path? We want to create a line that is um, a complete new shape. So disconnect from anything else, from any colors or anything that could bleed over to something else. So that's why we're going to do that. Then we're going to say here, ctx.move to, and the move to will need a x and y value. In this case, the move to is like the dot of your pencil on the piece of paper or on the piece of the canvas here. In this case, the dot will start here. Then we make a connecting line to, to Saturday and here. All right. So how can we get then this specific dot that would be Thursday at the beginning here? So for this, we know the values here because this is a data set. This is data set zero or index, the data point, index zero, one, two, three. This is three. The center here is three. However, at the very end here or very beginning here is 2.5. And this here would be 3.5. So basically what we need to do is we start at x, 2.5. So I'm going to say here x, I'm going to say here x dot get pixel for the value and that's 2.5. And 
Then what I want to do is I want to get the y coordinate and the y coordinate is basically this line here if you're going down. So if you're going down from the top all the way here down here, this is basically the top of the x scale. So I say x dot top and that is our starting point. Now what I want to do is just add up here the next item. So I say instead of move to line to because this is the connecting line from the point here. So what we're going to do here is from Saturday, if Saturday is index 6, or sorry, no, that's index 5, because Sunday is 6, so that would mean 5 is here, 5.5 .5 is this point here. So in this case, we can just change that, 5.5, .5, keep this here, then we can say here, ctx.stroke to draw the line. Save this, refresh, and now we have a solid line. So let's start to change the colors and control some of these options from a more user-friendly perspective. So what I want to do here, you see here we have the scales. After the scales, we're going to create here the plugin object. And in this plugin object where you could, for example, adjust the legend and do something, we will now add the new item that we just created, our own plugin, which has the ID of solid border X. Copy that, put it in here. Then we're going to say here, let's say X color. And this here will be red. So what I want to do is I want to extract this color now and give it a color here. So if I say CTX dot, uh, stroke style to give it a color, and this color would be red like this. There we are. But now what I want to do is I want to make that connected to here, to this item here. So how do we do that? Well, basically, we can say the following. We're going to say here, that's where we have the plugins. So basically, this plugin is a direct reference to the ID of this solid border object. So then we can just say here, dot x color. And if we do this, save, refresh, it is still red. If I change this to blue, we will get a new blue color x scale. All right, so what I want to make sure is we have a default color because what happened if I do nothing here, it would just get black here. So that's automatic, but I want to control that. So if there is no color specified or no object with this namespace, in that case, I will say this will be green. Let's make it simple, save, refresh. Now we have blue, all right. And then I'm going to hide this again, save, refresh, and now it's green. So what we could do here more, of course, is having these values here. So we can make a start value. Start value equals, or just like that, let's say it's, uh, plus 2.5. And of course, we have end value. And end value is 5.5. Let's grab that and put it in there as well. And then maybe what we could do here constant start value equals the start value here start value or zero i'll just make it very straightforward and the end value will be the same and we just put in a value as well there and then we say here 5.5 .5. so we can copy this put it in there end value, put in there, save, refresh, there we are. So let's hide those and see what happens. If I don't specify them, save, refresh, and now it starts at zero, which is this here, the center point. So minus, uh, minus 0 0.5 would be the very beginning. So if I say here, minus 0 0.5 would be the starting point here. And that's it 